It's a particularly special privilege to be here as Israel is celebrating 66 years of independence. David Ben-Gurion announced that a Jewish state would be born at the stroke of midnight on May 15, 1948. And 11 minutes later, President Truman recognized Israel's independence, the first world leader to do so. Ever since, Israel has had no closer ally and no better friend than the United States of America. And today, that remains true as ever. In our meeting this afternoon, the meetings that we will have later today, and incidentally, this is our sixth meeting, Bogey, uh, we, as you noted, discussed a number of issues, and we'll discuss more later this afternoon. We also affirm that our defense relationship is as strong as it's ever been. We discussed the ongoing P5 plus one negotiations over Iran's nuclear program and President Obama's commitment to ensuring that Iran does not acquire a nuclear weapon. We also discussed America's unwavering pledge to preserve Israel's qualitative military edge, including the provision of some of America's most advanced capabilities, such as the V-22 Osprey, the F-35, and sophisticated aircraft radar. We addressed ways to strengthen our nation's cooperation on a host of security challenges, ranging from the conflict in Syria to Iranian ballistic missiles. And we talked about the need for continued commitment to direct Israeli-Palestinian negotiations that lead to two viable independent states living side by side in peace and security. The frequent meetings that Minister Yalon and I have had, and the visit by President Obama's National Security Advisor last week, speak clearly to the strength of our nation's close friendship. They speak clearly to the strength of America's commitment to defending Israel. But nothing speaks more clearly than America's concrete support for Israel's defense. That includes $3.1 billion per year in foreign military financing, which is not only more than we provide to any other nation, but the most we've provided to any nation in American history. Our support also includes unparalleled military cooperation. And later this afternoon, Minister Yalon and I are looking forward to seeing that cooperation firsthand. As he noted, we will visit Hatsur Air Force Base, where we will have an opportunity to review preparations for Juniper Cobra, a biennial five-day military exercise that will involve more than 4,000 American and Israeli troops, including over 700 U.S. troops here in Israel. This will be our European Command's largest exercise this year, and it will be the seventh in the Jupiter Cobra series, which began in 2001. It will provide training in a variety of areas, including ballistic missile defense and other areas. Along with two U.S. Aegis-class ships in the Mediterranean, the exercise will employ Israel's entire rocket and ballistic missile architecture, including Iron Dome, Arrow, and David Sling, assets that the United States is proud to have helped Israel finance and develop. In fact, just two months ago, the United States and Israel reached a milestone co-production agreement to release nearly half a billion dollars more for Iron Dome, above and beyond our annual military assistance. This will support additional batteries and interceptors that will protect more Israeli communities, military bases, and critical infrastructure from rocket and mortar attack. And it will bring U.S. investment in Iron Dome alone to nearly $900 million, and our overall investment in Israel's rocket and missile defense to well over $3 billion. Israel's security is and will always be non-negotiable. Military to military cooperation between the United States and Israel is stronger than ever, as the exercise we are reviewing today demonstrates. And Minister Yalon and I are both committed to ensuring that it not only stays that way, but it grows stronger. Every time I visit Israel, I am reminded of Theodore Herzl's words, if you will it, it is no dream. 
I am reminded of the strength, the resilience, and the optimism of the Israeli people. And I am reminded of why America's commitment to a strong and secure Israel has not and never will be anything but complete and unwavering. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Bogan. Thank you.